Are you a photographer or a videographer? Maybe you make video content on platforms like YouTube and Odyssey. Stay tuned because today I'm going to share with you some pieces of equipment that I've purchased in recent weeks that has really made my life easier as a video content creator. The very first piece of equipment I want to talk about is rolling C-stands. So many of you guys, if you've got any kind of photography or videography studio where you, you're often moving around lights because you're changing position, you're changing what you're trying to shoot. And I've got two of these Favatec LED panels. I've got a soft box on this one right now. It's not plugged in, it's not turned on. But these Favatec LED panels, they're really nice. They come with their own stands. It's a, a, just a stand that has a, like a tripod section at the bottom, you three legs that come out, but it doesn't have wheels. You can't move it. I mean, you can move it. You move it by actually picking up the stand and taking it with you and dropping it off somewhere. These things are not light though. These uh, LED panels and the stand itself has some weight. And it's also very top heavy because you have this LED panel that's kind of forward on the stand. So it's really easy to knock these things over to get them off balance and have them fall over and potentially damage you if they fall over on you or damage your equipment. It can fall over into your computer monitors or cameras or whatever you know, equipment you've got around. So I really wanted something a little safer and also something just easier to move around. So what I did is I replaced the uh, the stands that came with the Favatec panels. You just take the, the panels off and put it on a new stand. What I did is I purchased these rolling C stands from Impact. Impact is the name of the company. And these things are not cheap, but they're built like a tank. I purchased two of them because I've got two of the Favatec panels, but I mean, they are solid steel. They've got some weight to them. And, and you know, the, the light is not going anywhere. The way it's set up now, I don't even have to worry about weighting the feet of the C stand. Now, I did purchase some sandbags. I've got a, a few small sandbags that I could weight the, the fold out feet if I was worried about things falling over, but just with the light panel on it, I don't worry about that. But what I'm thinking about doing today is I've purchased some clamps and some arms. I'm thinking about turning this into an all-in-one rolling YouTube studio. You guys have probably seen a lot of YouTubers that have these stand setups where they have the rolling stand and they have it complete with a light, with microphone, camera, uh, camera monitors, you can even add audio interfaces, etc. I don't need to, to pimp it out quite like that. But today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up this stand with the light. I'm going to go ahead and add some clamps and arms so I can add a camera and a microphone. So I have a rolling YouTube studio that I can just roll around anywhere in this office and sit in front of this stand and press record on the camera and go. So to add anything to the Impact C stand, of course, first of all, we need clamps and probably the most highly recommended clamps you see on photography, videography forms is Manfrotto's Super Clamp. Now, these things are amazing. You can see that it's got the little cutout in here. It's really designed to be clamped to cylindrical objects such as this, this pole, this rolling stand, tripods, pipes even. If you were recording in a place that had exposed overhead pipes, the super clamp would be perfect to attach to those pipes and then, you know, hang lights or, or shotgun microphones or whatever it is that you wanted to hang above. Now the super clamp, of course, I say it's designed to be clamped to a cylindrical object. You can actually make this V cutout perfectly straight. There is this little attachment here that you could unscrew and it's a, a V that actually fits into that slot to make it a smooth edge. That way, if you wanted to, you could actually use the Manfrotto super clamp to attach to a desk or a table, any kind of smooth surface. Now, when you purchase the super clamp, you can buy it with or without a stud, a little spigot here. And how this works is you can attach the spigot one of two ways. You can actually use the threaded end to screw into the super clamp, but most commonly you're probably going to use the hex head side of the spigot and put it in this little hole and press a button on the top of the super clamp to allow that to fall into the hole and then release it. And it's not really going anywhere. You can tighten it down with this knob here to make sure that that spigot is in place. And of course, from there, you got the threaded end exposed now, and that's where you can tie on anything, uh, microphones, cameras. Typically, what you're going to do from the super clamp, though, is you're going to add an arm, such as the Manfrotto magic arm. 
So this is the Manfrotto Magic Arm. It's got two sections and it's got this big knob that you turn here uh, to tighten it or to loosen it so that you can actually move the arm. I've actually got it so tight it's, it's in place. Let me loosen it and then you can adjust it. It comes with a camera stand uh, on one end. It comes with these uh, studs on each end and you can see I actually attached one of the spigots for the super clamp to one of the studs. This will of course plug into the super clamp which of course is going to be plugged onto the impact C stand. Now when you tighten this thing down it is rock solid sturdy. This magic arm from Manfrotto is a rather expensive piece of equipment but it's so sturdy and fantastic. It's probably worth the money, especially if you're gonna put expensive equipment on it. If you're gonna put an expensive camera with an expensive lens on an arm, you wanna make sure that that thing isn't going anywhere. Another piece of equipment I purchased, I purchased these little six inch extension arms. And what this is, this is not from Manfrotto. The company that made this is actually Impact. Since I like the stand so much, I saw that Impact made these little arms with the little hex head, you know, almost like an end of a spigot. And of course, you could just add that into the little hole where we placed the spigot earlier. You can just add that arm. And now you've got this arm in place. Let me add it to where the, uh, this is straight here. And then that's got a hex receiver on that where I could actually take a spigot and drop that in, screw that down, and then I could screw on a camera or a microphone to this little six inch extension arm. Now, one thing I did want to consider was, you know, the hassle of, I only have one camera. So I've got my camera uh, attached to an Elgato mount here that's mounted on my desk where I typically shoot video. I don't want to, whenever I, I want to add it to the rolling stand, I don't want to have to unscrew the camera off its current mount and then bring it over here, attach it to one of the Manfrotto arms, screw it in place and get everything set up. You know, it'd take me a couple of minutes to take that camera off of that mount. And it'll take me a couple of minutes to add the camera to the arm on the stand. It's just a few minutes, but if you make as many videos as I do, these minutes add up. You know, I've made more than a thousand videos. Imagine that I had to waste, you know, five minutes every video doing something that would take mere seconds if I had the proper device, such as the Manfrotto quick release plate. So Manfrotto makes this little quick release uh, plate here that's got the little lever here that you, you just release it and the camera pops off and then you put the camera on the plate on the new arm and you just press down on it and it pops into place. So I bought two of these Manfrotto quick release plates. That way I will easily be able to transfer the camera from that mount to the mount on this rolling stand. Now the equipment I've shown you thus far, that takes care of attaching a camera, but we need a microphone. We need to be able to attach a microphone to this rolling stand so we have some some audio. And I can't use any of my existing microphones because the existing microphones I have are not appropriate for this kind of setup because they're designed for being attached to a, a scissor arm at a desk. They're more podcast type microphones, dynamic microphones, such as my Electrovoice 27ND. The other thing is these kinds of microphones typically have weight to them. This Electrovoice 27ND that I'm recording in, that I'm speaking into right now, that thing is heavy. It weighs a ton. And I can't add some kind of scissor arm to the rolling stand because that's going to have some forward weight to it and then add a huge microphone to it that weighs a ton. You know, you're going to have so much weight to this thing. And then, you know, a, a dynamic microphone is not appropriate because you really need a condenser microphone because you're not going to be close to the mic. You're typically going to be uh, two, three, maybe four feet away from a microphone. That's not going to work for a dynamic mic. What you need is a shotgun microphone. And I bought the Sennheiser MKE 600. It's a very popular shotgun microphone, reasonably priced. I, $400 sounds like an insane amount of money for a microphone, but for a shotgun microphone, this is actually mid-range, you know, mid-range to budget even, because a lot of the professional videographers, you know, the kind of shotgun microphones they use typically run $1,000 or more. Uh, some of the more popular ones run you up to two grand. So I purchased the Sennheiser MKE 600 and it comes with its own mount and it's got a uh, quarter inch mount so it'll screw on to any of the, the spigots or the studs or I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to use one of the six inch impact stands coming out of a super clamp and then I'm going to add a scissor arm to that extension and then the scissor arm I'm going to attach the MKE 600 to that.
Now, because the shotgun microphone has so little weight to it, you can actually use any kind of cheap scissor arm for that, so I'm not gonna purchase one. I have this rather cheap thing that I probably spent 20 or 30 bucks on uh, a few years ago. This was to hold up my webcam, my Logitech webcam. And so this scissor arm here, it had its own uh, disc clamp that actually broke because again, it's a cheap scissor arm. The clamp actually broke on me, but I still have the, the arm and this end of the arm will fit perfect in that impact six inch extension arm. Instead of adding a spigot, I'm gonna add this and, you know, and screw it down. And then from there, of course, I can add the Sennheiser MKE 600 microphone and then I can adjust you know, the width or you know, how far out it sticks or the height because of course you want your microphone to be you know, in front of you, you want to be able to speak toward it, but it needs to be up enough to where it's out of the camera view. But enough of me talking. Let me go ahead and add the clamps and arms to this thing and let's see how it looks. And here I am recording for the very first time from my rolling all-in-one studio on a stand. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how things turned out. I, I've gotta go back, of course, and check the audio from this microphone. This will be the very first video I've ever recorded using this microphone. I did a couple of quick sound checks just to see how much gain I needed. I needed a ton of gain to power this microphone. I may need to add some additional output gain in post, but other than that, I'm plugging it directly into the Mackie Pro FX mixer. I'm not doing any kind of EQ or compression on the mixer, and I'm probably not gonna do anything like that in post-production either. I want you guys to hear as much as possible the raw audio from the MKE 600. Overall, I'm really excited about using this stand in the future. I really love, you know, you've got everything. You've got the light, camera, microphone. If I needed to, I could add a, a monitor to a camera on the stand. I could add power conditioners. I could actually add uh, audio interfaces, whatever it is that you could get mounted to this rolling stand. I mean, you could mount, heck, you could mount a, a stand that would hold a laptop if you needed a computer also on this stand. You could do practically anything. Really, the sky's the limit. For those of you that want to build this kind of all-in-one studio on a stand, I'm going to give you some Amazon affiliate links in the show description that will, of course, link to all of the equipment I purchased to build my stand. Of course, you don't have to use those Amazon affiliate links. They're just there for those of you that choose to support the channel by using my affiliate links. Other than that, guys, let me know what you think about the, for the most part, raw audio from the MKE 600 shotgun microphone. I'm kind of curious how this thing sounds myself. Uh, again, I'm going to listen to it here in a minute, and I'll, I'll probably do some tweaking over the next couple of weeks to try to figure out exactly what I need to do to clean up some of the sound on this mic as well. All right, guys. Peace.